<sighs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day to be a neighbor. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Well, welcome to the stream, viewers. I thought I'd say hello. I was going for a walk. It's a beautiful night tonight. Not too cold, not too hot. Just a nice night. So I thought I'd go for a walk, clear my head. It's just what I recommend you doing. You know, just go for a little walk. In the night time, daytime, whatever it is, go for a walk. There we go. Oh, what a lovely, lovely, lovely night. You hear that? You hear those waves? They're pretty cool, eh? They're pretty fucking cool, man. I can hear from here. Can you hear them, boys and girls? Can you hear that? It'll be too dark down there to take you down there now, though. It'll be like pitch black darkness. It's not a clear night. There's no moon. So it'll be really, really dark. So I can't take you down the beach tonight. So I'll take you for a walk up the road, and we'll have a little talk. Okay? A little talk helps me. As you know, you know, through the years, I've used, you know, I started out in my garage, you know, I was making masks. Yeah, I was making masks, man. That's what I was doing, yeah? I was called Garage Arts. And, you know, I was making things and I was showing people how to do masks. And, you know, that's how it all really started, right? You know, that's how, that's how, that's how it started. You know, all this, right? This is me. How are you? Okay, I'll try and get a, a view of me. Okay. There we go. Boys and girls, how you doing? Um, yeah, man, I'm the original Garage Arts. I used to like making my masks in the, in the garage and doing my arts and fucking, you know, showing people how to make shit and paint shit and mix stuff and, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I originally kicked out, man. Fuck. You know, and here we are, like, I don't know, what is it, five years later? It's like five years later, you know? And I'm called Lord Dobby. Ra ra ra. I've been thinking about changing it back to Garage Arts, but I haven't got a garage and I haven't been doing any arts. <laughs> it's kind of like defeats the purpose, really, doesn't it? <laughs> There's no good doing the Garage Arts. I was going to uh, just rename the whole thing Garage Arts, you know? <laughs> <coughs> That's what my, my original name was, Garage Arts. You know, cracking away. So I hope you're all happy, healthy and well, okay? Um, I'm not going to be mad or, or anything like that. I don't, I don't play that way. Like I made that video yesterday and I stood back and I thought, fuck, that wasn't really me. Like I, just, I was just angry at that particular moment. But five minutes later I wasn't. I just didn't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't fucking give a fuck at all. I just don't give a flying rat's ass when it comes down to it. So a fucking ten minutes later, I was laughing at myself. Viewers, I was just laughing at myself, thinking, oh, fuck it, I'll just wait. I don't give a fuck. Really, it doesn't fucking matter to me. I don't know why I'm even fucking stressing about it or whatever. So I won't be worrying about that at all. You know, we made a few phone calls, simple as that. Organised. And that's it, right? That's it, buddy. Um, but I've always liked to share things with you, you know, about my fucking shit and, you know, my life and fucking ups and downs and fucking how do you get through shit and stuff like that, you know? That's what it kind of like turned out to be. Because I'm fucking, you know, here I am. Um, and another lesson for today. I've got a really important lesson for today. Like, I've got a fucking perler, and I cannot fucking believe it. I really can't. And um, tomorrow, I'll be fucking on the phone, and it won't matter, because it's already fucking done. And I, I smile at it, and I'll have a little bit of a giggle about it. But I can promise you, promise you, that it will never fucking happen again. <laughs> it will never happen again, ever. Not fucking ever will it ever happen today, ever happen again. Okay, you got away with it. You got away with it today. Okay, but I can fucking promise you it'll be the last. That's it. You've fucking done it. You have done done your fucking britches now. You've burnt the fucking rope. 
and um, from now on there's not going to be anything for you to seize. There'll be nothing there. So seize all you want, put your notes on my account all you want, make all the demands that you want, but there'll be nothing there for you to seize. That's the last time that will happen ever in my life. Will you have, be able to do that again? Now, I, you know, am a diplomatic guy. I'm a nice guy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a forgiving guy. I'm a nice lord, okay? I'm not a bad go person. I've never been, I've never portrayed myself as a bad person. But I am that one bad boy, aren't I, guys? <laughs> like they don't ever get over me, ever. Like they fucking wait for any opportunity they can to seek the fucking glory, right? And it's a learning lesson for all, for, for you viewers, for, for men. For men mainly, for men. Uh, don't trust them. Do not trust the agency in any way, shape or form. Do not believe anything they tell you. Do not trust anything that they tell you because it's fucking lies. It is absolute lies that they will tell you. Straight on the phone, they'll tell you. Lie to your face. Now, I have an arrangement. I thought I had an arrangement. I mean, I was so happy with my arrangement. <laughs> everyone was sweet. Everyone was happy. I thought everyone was covered. But unfortunately, uh, they could just make a phone call and fucking bang. So um, I feel lucky that I was able to live, move that I did. I mean, I, you know, I shared with you because I worked overtime, I worked hard, I paid my, ch my child support. I was in, I wasn't in, I was fine. I was on the phone talking to them, everything's sweet. Everything's, you know, just do what you're doing and you're able to save money and build yourself up and you won't have to worry about us because you've got an arrangement with us. You, you're doing it directly out of your, your pay. And, you know, you go to work, you're thinking everything's fine. You know, like you, you've got your arrangement. It gets taken out every week. Um, you know, I go to buy a fucking can of Coke in the machine, viewers. And I don't have a fucking dime. I don't have a fucking dime. <laughs> Sorry about that. So basically, you seized every fucking penny that I'd been able to save while working. Every penny. And you've left me with nothing. And in your mind, you'll be laughing at now. You'll be going, oh, I'm fucking great. I'm all this, that, and I've done, you know, fuck him and all that. Well, okay, then, not a problem. It will be the last, the last fucking time that you'll ever be able to do that. You have really cut the fucking rope. You've really burnt your fucking bridge. Because, to be honest, I feel like just going back on the dole. Go back on the fucking dole. You won't get a fucking penny. You won't get anything. I mean, seriously, you honestly think I'm going to let you put notes on my fucking account that every time I'm paid, that it goes directly to you? It goes directly to you. Like, I'm not allowed to live. Forget about, forget about, I'm not allowed to live. I'm not allowed to buy food. I'm not allowed to buy petrol. I'm not allowed to fucking, are you fucking kidding me? Like everything? Like how, 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 how are you able to, to garnish plus seize whatever's left? Like that's fucking full on. You put a little complaint in, did you? A little cry on the phone. Oh, yeah, and then they get hold, oh fucking tippy tappy, tippy tappy. Oh, my God. So what did you think? I'd be all upset and crying and all that fucking shit. No, love. I'm a fucking man. I'm a man, okay? I do men's fucking work for a living. So no, your little game today will be the last fucking game you play on Lord Dobby, okay? This will be the last. I can fucking promise you. I can promise you. All right, so I think you're very, very cheeky. Extremely fucking cheeky. Like, I can't believe it, viewers. That, so I thought I'd go for a walk and clear my head because tomorrow morning is another day and you may have got me today but baby I work I work for a living I actually have a fucking job and I work 
So it's not the end of me. It's not the end of my life. I won't end up on the fucking street or in my car. Are you fucking kidding me? Bitch, out of all the fucking shit I've been through, you think your little fucking shit today is going to harm my fucking life? No, love. It won't. Not fucking at all. I regard it as a little game. And I trusted the board. And I trusted the rules. And I obeyed all the rules and played the game. But instead, the fucking games decided, oh, no, we don't like you. We're just going to seize fucking everything you got. Oh, you built yourself up a little bit. Oh, fuck, that's great. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, you built yourself up. I can't have that. I don't like to see you fucking get up. Oh, fuck, no, don't like that at all. He needs to be in the car. He needs to be fucking broke. Right? We need to send him into destitution. Fucking rah, 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 you fucking horrible, ugly fucking woman. Right? Fuck it, hell. Um, but anyways, that's life. That's how, that's how you regard it, gentlemen. That's how you regard it. You regard it, that's life. And to be honest, I've been broker. I've been broker. I mean, the viewers can testify to that. I have been fucking broke. So, okay, you got me for a couple of grand. You fucking seized my accounts so that now you've got fucking notes on my account, have you? Because I phoned the bank. I phoned the bank. I took a little tippy tappy of me own, little titty tappy, little talk to a third party. Fucking what's going on? And they let me know. Got a few notes on me fucking account, have you, love? Hey, I'll be giving that a phone call in the morning too. Wondering why have you got that on there and we've got an arrangement. What's the point of having an arrangement, sir, if you can just come along at any time a month later and just seize whatever's in the account? What's the fucking point of making an arrangement with you? Seems a bit fucking odd, doesn't it? I mean, I'm talking to you, making an arrangement with you. You say, yes, everything's fine. And then a fucking month later, you seize everything in the account. And you actually think that I'm a walking fucking monkey in a banana that I'm going to fucking do the same thing next week. You actually think I'm walking the fucking street going, yeah, I'll put my pay in there fucking on Friday. Yeah, fucking not a worry, love. Is there another note there? I'll make sure I fucking pay that. Oh, that'll be the first thing I fucking do. Don't worry about me rent. Don't worry about paying for, for petrol or gasoline or fuck, because you can actually get to work. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about actually eating. Oh, fuck, don't need to eat. Just need to fucking get that wage. Hey, 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 that's all. Fuck it, what a joke they are, boys and girls. Learn, boys. Fucking learn. That is why I fucking share this shit with you. That is why I share this fucking my life with you. Is so that you get off this now and you fucking learn. Okay? My embarrassment, my fucking shit. You can actually learn something from it. And I thought, do I fucking tell them or I don't tell them? I thought, fuck it, I've told them everything else so far. I thought, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything fucking illegal. Um, but I'm just like, like, really? I fucking, after I've spoken to you, I've made an arrangement, I pay, man. I fucking, like... So I've got another one to tell you, right? So last Sunday, I, I need to ask the viewers... I need to ask the viewers this, right? Because I had this fucking phone call, right, last Sunday at about 9.30 in the morning, claiming to be child support, right? And on a Sunday morning, claiming to be child support, telling me that they wanted to talk to me about my debt that I owe on a Sunday morning. And of course, I thought it was all bullshit. I mean, I didn't fucking think they actually call you on a Sunday morning. Fucking <laughs> yeah, hell. Like, you've got nothing fucking better to do, have you? What, do you sit on the phone all day chasing fucking, uh, chasing people, do you? And you figure Sunday morning they'll be, they'll be there. <laughs> they'll be there. Fucking yeah, hell. So I don't know if I didn't take it seriously or not. So maybe the woman got all pissed off. You know, because I said, why are you calling me on a Sunday morning? Like, why can't you call me like a normal person does Monday to Friday? Um, you know, and I, I didn't actually believe she was from child support. <laughs> I didn't know who she was. 
So I, I wasn't really, you know, wanted to answer questions and stuff like that. Um, but basically, you know, I'm not like she wants me. She wants to, me to give her my money, and I said, "But I already pay you." You know why? Why? Do, what are you? What are you talking about? Oh no, well, we just want to get the debt cleared away earlier. You want to do that? I said, "Am I allowed to build my life? Am I allowed to like pay rent next week? I mean, my my rent is due on the fifteenth. Am I allowed to pay rent? Or I don't pay rent. I just tell the landlord that you know that it was seized. You know, or, or, or I owed a debt, so they came along and seized my account." I mean, it's fucking a joke. I mean, how am I supposed... I mean, I've, I've got things I've, I can't even tell you about that I've got to come up with. Okay? And I, and, it, and I just shake my head. I really, really do. And I was given no... No nothing. And the other thing... The big thing I wanted to, to talk to you, to tell you about, is why would I have money? Why would I be trying to do my best to say fucking and save my, my pennies um, in a bank... Um, if I thought it would just go, what's the, why would I do that? Because that's why I called them and made an arrangement and thought I was sweet and I could save my money and I didn't have to worry about anything. But of course it isn't. You know, whatever you said to the person with the arrangement you made is fucking bullshit. Okay, it's lies. Because as soon as you, as soon as you build yourself up in any way, they are going to come along and seize it. They're just going to take it. So you can't, you can't even put money in a bank. So it's, it's really a fucking joke. Like, you know, like you, even when you've spoken to them, like I talk to them, guy. That's why I'm, that's why I'm frustrated. That's why I'm walking. That, that's why I'm walking is because I actually spoke to them. I got on the phone. I fucking was there for ages speaking to them. I came up with the arrangement to pay it out of my rage. I'm the one that did that. I'm the one that nominated the price how much to take. You know, am I good now? Yes, sir, you've obeyed everything. We're very happy. We've made an arrangement with you, all the rest of it. So I'm, I'm okay to go to work. Okay. If I save my money, stay at home, don't do anything, save my money, am I okay? Are you going to come along like you did the last time and take my eBay, PayPal, bank account? You took everything from me. Oh, no, sir, you've made an arrangement. I mean, you know, like you're doing the right thing. You're taking care of your kids. You're doing the right thing. You're paying it. But it isn't that way. It isn't. And if I had honestly a thought that God had any inkling at all, I wouldn't have had a penny in the bank. There wouldn't have been anything in there to fucking seize. So you got me for a couple of G's today. And you've put me back. You know, you've put me back. Okay, you, that was my savings. You took all of my savings. You took all. And I know you'll be laughing and having a giggle to yourself. But I can promise you, it'll never happen again. Never. Never. And not only that, but you've, had, you've got notes on my account. So if any, any, any of my money goes, my pay, anything like that goes into the account, um, goes over this particular amount, then it gets sent straight to you. Are you fucking kidding me? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You honestly think I'm going to let you stand? That's going to stand, do you? Uh, that won't stand. I'll be on the phone tomorrow morning. Like, am I allowed to live a life? Am I allowed to have a life? Am I allowed to actually function as a human? I mean, if my entire thing is being sent to you, how am I supposed to function? <laughs> it's just not fucking right. It just can't be. And if that is how it is, then I'll be quitting my job tomorrow. I'll be going back on fucking Centrelink, and I promise you, you won't get a fucking dime. I can promise you that. I, I won't. I won't go to work. Why would I go to work when my entire thing is being seized? What the fuck do you think I'm, I'm an idiot? No, that won't be happening. Sorry about that, Janine. It will not be happening. Sorry. Really sorry to burst your big bubble there, lovey. You know, your little balloon you've got fucking blown up. Um, no, you got it today. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, if I had any inkling at all, um, it wouldn't have been there for you to seize. But I was assured because I had, you know, made my my arrangement and was paying, I'd say out of my straight direct, I've got the pay slips, 
Um, but this lady was actually claiming that nothing had been paid. Like, nothing had been paid to them. Like, you might have paid, like, the company might have, whatever, but the company hasn't sent it to us. So I said, well, how, that's not my fault. Why are, you, why are you on the phone to me and not calling the company? You know, like, there's nothing I can do. It's Sunday, Sunday morning. Um, I don't understand what you're wanting me to do. Like, it's, it's done direct by them. It's on my pay slip. That's, I can give you my pay slips. That's about it to prove it. Um, I didn't know what to do. And I thought the lady was, wasn't real. Because it was just the questions. What the fuck are all these questions on a Sunday morning? I've only just woken up. You woke me up. Your phone call woke me up. Why am I being woken up? What, what's the problem, miss? You know? So that, that was what I... You know, it just fucking freaked me out. The phone call freaked me out a bit. Um... So maybe that's what that was about, you know, because she's offended. That's all it takes us, mate, is you, you offend one of these women's feelings, and that's what happens. Um, so they've come in. I feel like they've fucking stolen, robbed me. I really do. I don't feel like, because I, I thought I had an arrangement. I spoke to them. I talked to them. I thought I'd done the right thing, and I was paying. You know, it's direct out of my fucking, direct to them. And it's a learning lesson, gentlemen, okay, it really honestly is, that you cannot trust these people. You can't trust them. You can't believe anything they say to you. If they say to you this, that, you can't believe it. It's, you know, like, like it's not a, not a whole lot of money, I understand that, but it's all of the savings that I had. So I don't know how I'm going to pay my, my, house, my, my rent on the 15th. Um, you took all of my rent. And you took my money that I needed for another purpose, which is a more important purpose than you'll ever fucking be in my life, that ever were in my life. And you've taken that from me. So I have to try and recoup that between now and fucking Friday, Saturday at the latest. Uh, my rent part I'm not too concerned about, but I am concerned about the other one. Because that's the most important thing in my whole fucking life. And you've taken that opportunity from me to do that. And that's what upsets me. That you've taken that opportunity away from me. But I will recoup. Just walk it off, you know, that's all you can do. You can, um, as I've always said here, if you need to fucking have a cry or whatever, you need to upset yourself, you do that alone, you know, you don't normally share that, you know, but, you know, this fucking shit hurts, you know. Um, and I know there's a, you got to swallow it, boys. you got to swallow it. you got to swallow it, get up tomorrow morning and go back to fucking work and stay on path. You know, like, fucking hell, how hard is it, right? <laughs> Fuck! It's so hard sometimes to stay on path. <laughs> like, fucking hell, boys. Like, it really is. It's not fucking easy, I can tell you. And it takes a lot of concentration and a lot of fucking, I don't know, just to stay on path, man. Just to fucking not let it fucking get to you, not let it wear you down too fucking much. You know? <laughs> fucking... Uh, well, it, straight up, it kills him. <laughs> it fucking kills him. Oh, I don't know how many men fucking do themselves every year, but um, it ain't fucking easy. And you got to swallow it sometimes. And you just fucking, you just shake your head. And you think, I never thought of that move. I thought I had that move covered. I'm on the phone fucking covering the move because I pre-seen the move. And... I thought I had, the, had it fucking organised, because I'm a smart cunt. I thought I had it done. That's why I'm paying them. That's why I called up and fucking made the arrangement. So I could build my life. But no, ladies and gentlemen, they can't even let you get a couple of grand in front. They can't even let you get a couple of grand in front. Okay? They can't even let you get a thousand dollars in front. No, 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 we're going to take the fucking lot. Oh, fuck it, he doesn't need any of that. 
Yeah, it doesn't need any of that. Fucking, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all that. We'll just take all that. And look, mate, if you're going to get paid on fucking whatever it is, just let us know because we're going to put a little note there and uh, that'll be sent straight to us. Um, how are you going to survive? Look, look, we really, we'll, you'll, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be able to do it. Um, just give us a phone call if any, anything changes. Like, <laughs> that's what they say to you. Give us a phone call if anything changes. Like, if your fucking working situation changes, it'll be, hello, how are you? I'm on the dole. I'm on the fucking Centrelink, mate. <laughs> I'm on the fucking Centrelink, mate. I've got a food stamp going on. <coughs> I go down the food truck and I get me fucking food down there. I'll, I'll, I'll make a video. I'll, that, this is where I eat now. I've got a little food truck there. I get a hot, free hot dog and a fucking baked beans. And uh, I go down and get a free coffee. I'll get a fucking free coffee. It's fucking huge on a fucking Friday night down here. Get a free fucking coffee. Oh, look, she won't be liking that. Oh, fuck, I put a complaint in. Oh, fuck, I put a complaint in. Get a third party. Fuck, he's got a free coffee. Oh, fuck. Anyway, um, I'll be down the food bank later. I'll be giving some fucking blood. I'll be giving plasma, ladies and gentlemen, to fucking pay for me bills. And it still won't be fucking good enough. I want a little urn out of that one, too. How much did you get there? Oh, 30 dollars. Look, give us 20 of that. <laughs> give us 20 of that. <laughs> Oh, fuck it, actually, make it 25, make it 25 out of the 30, that'd be good. <coughs> fucking cunts. Oh, they're fucking, you know. So I walk it off, I make a little joke to myself. Yes, I get upset. Yes, I fucking get sad. Yes, I fucking, I do all the, emo I get all the emotional fucking shit. I do all of that. But at the end of the day, you know, I've got to go home and fucking... Try and get some sleep and fucking wake up tomorrow morning for the battle to begin again. And that's all it is. It's a fucking battle. But I can tell you honestly, it'll never happen again. If you honestly think I'm going to put a fucking penny in a bank account again, you're fucking dreaming, cunt. You're fucking in dreamland. So enjoy it, because it'll be the fucking last time. Oh, fuck. You took all of my savings, bitch. All of it. Every fucking penny I had, so I can't even pay my rent, can't put fuel in my fucking car. I think I've got 150 bucks in the wallet I feel lucky to fucking have, because you would have got that too. Um, I wish I'd never fucking put money into a bank account at all to save money. That's a fucking absolute... Don't ever do that. Don't ever put money in a bank account. Take it the fuck out of the bank. Don't have your money sitting in a bank account, because it could just be taken from you. Just be seized. It's gone. That's it. Um... Like, you would have actually been able to use it if you'd taken it out of the bank. <laughs> like, fuck. I'm a dickhead for even thinking that I could save money in a bank account. That I could be fucking legit like everybody else and not have to worry that, you know, a government agency is going to come along because you've hurt someone's fee-fees and fucking sees your account. Like, fuck. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> so, anyway, that's my life today. It's been an exciting day. It's been a real exciting day. Um, about as bad as it could get. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that subject. Exactly. No, I can't do anything. I'm not streaming how I earn money, how I work, where I work, all that kind of thing. No, 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 no. No, I like my privacy. Oh, I'm sorry, I like my privacy. I don't even know where the fuck I am. I better turn around and go back so I know where I am. I've never even been down here before. Beautiful here in the ocean, though. You can hear the, hear the waves. So that was my dilemma today, boys and girls. That's my learning lesson to you. Uh, don't trust fucking these people on the phone because they're fucking liars. And uh, whatever they say, they're going to break their agreement with you. And um, as soon as you've got anything at all saved up, they are going to take it from you. And um, this is a really, I suppose it's, a, it's a, not, a, not a cheap learning lesson, but it's not an expensive learning lesson either. Because it has taught me. Oh, I've learned. So it won't happen again. Absolutely, just shake my head. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh.
Oh well. I hope your life is better. I'm not taking things into court, mate. Uh, that's what I figure, mate. It's a cheaper learning lesson uh, than what it would have been uh, if I'd saved up and saved up and worked overtime. And um, who, if I hadn't have got my unit, if I hadn't have spent my money on my unit, because um, she got all jealous because I put, you know, that I'd been saving money on my YouTube channel. Remember, I put a post there. She got all fucking dirty on that. How dare he? How dare he have any savings? Let's see if we can seize that. Let's see if we can take that. Yes, that, that looks good to me because I've got a big fat ass and I love a glass of wine. So, um, yeah, that looks fucking real decent to me. Um, um, so that's what they do. They come in and fucking seize everything that you got. Even though you pay with your job, you've called them, you've made an arrangement, you, you, you've not done anything wrong, and it's proven, proves to everybody that you cannot trust these people and that you cannot have any savings in the bank at all. None. Not, not a fucking penny. Because if you do, um, they will come along, even though you're, you're, you, you think you're fine, you've, you've called them and, and, and told them, you're going, is it okay to save money now? Am I able to work harder? I'll do longer hours if that's okay. I need money for my child. I need money for my kid. All, all, you know what I mean? Like, I, you know... Um, I need money to move and stuff. Because I had a really good conversation with a guy. And he's gone, no, 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 you're fine. You've, you're covered, man. You, you, you've made an arrangement. We're, we're doing it all straight from your employer. You've been honest with us and straightforward. And So I really feel lucky that I got my unit. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, damn. Like, talk about timing. Like, seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. Because, I mean, you, you, you're a horrible person. You would have left me with absolutely nothing. Absolutely zilch and had a nice laugh to yourself. Nice little gift to yourself. Fucking hell. Fuck. Joke. Turn the Jeep into a camper. I think I might have to. Might have to even sell the Jeep. We're not really going to sell the Jeep, you know, but I don't want to have to sell the Jeep. What do you reckon? You know, get, try and get some money. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to sell the Jeep, nah. But yeah, you know, I'm fucking... I just shake my head. You haven't stopped anything. Like, there's nothing going to fucking change. Um, I still go to work. I didn't... I took two hours off earlier today because I was just... Because I went out to the Coke machine to buy a Coke, and I can't buy a Coke. Like, I can't buy a Coke. Are you, what? What? What's going on here? Like, it wouldn't work. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute. Like, because I, I, I don't fucking spend... I've, I've really been trying to save money. I really have. I don't go out anywhere. I don't buy anything. Um, you know, I have a cheap takeaway meal. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. I try and do my best to try and save any... To save my pennies. And bang. That, that's what you get, bro. That's what you get you can't even buy a coke so i'm at work and i panic what the fuck i think i look at my phone in the anz app and there's no money in my account i'm like what the fuck has gone on here oh fuck i just started thinking i just panic man i thought someone had like stolen my details or some shit like that right um so no man i had to get on the phone straight away uh to the bank and so i'm on the phone for like 35 minutes waiting for them to get through and finally, um, I get to the get through to the bank, you know. And I can't believe this. Like, I have an arrangement, but I, but I, but anyways, that's what happened. I can't keep repeating myself over and over. Um, I thought I had it covered, but I can promise you, it'll never happen again. What do you? Well, you must think I'm a fucking absolute monkey if you think I would put my any in, in my any money into a bank account when it's going to be seized straight away. I mean, what is wrong with you? Like, fuck. Like, you, you're not allowed to build your life up, like, boys. These women, they don't want you fucking building your life up at all, mate. They want you fucking destitute and broke. And they will take every penny from you. As soon as you're paid. Oh, no, I'll take all of that. 
I'll take that. Yeah, no, 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 no. You owe a little bit of a debt. It's, you know, 20 years old and I've fucking got a, you know, 20 year marriage behind me and he's a multi millionaire and he's just such a great guy. But my God, I'm desperate for your money. Fucking desperate. You know, if there's anything there, I've fucking got to have it. If there's anything there, uh, I've got 20% power left, ladies and gentlemen, just letting you know. Um, like, I'm fucking just, I cannot believe you. But that's fine. I thought I had it covered and I didn't. They fucking lied. They just lied to me. Lied to me, guys. I swear to you on a Bible, they just fucking lied to me. You know? Like, you are not allowed to build yourself up at all. At all. Nah. Nah, nah, I can't have that. Nah, nah, we've got to take all that. Okay, we'll put him, put him back down to zero. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good one. That's, that's great. So when he wakes up in the morning, he can't even put petrol in his car. Like, I can't put petrol in the car. You seized everything. I just fucking laugh. Like, it, you know, like, it's either that'll cry, and you're not going to get me to fucking cry, bitch. Like, fucking, that ain't going to happen. You're not worth it. Fat ass Janine, fucking hell. So anyway, have a little giggle to yourself. Pour yourself a little glass of wine. Enjoy the fucking, enjoy the two grand you got off me. You fucking see, they had them seize off me and fucking steal from me. Um, I don't know what you fucking tears you've cried to them and what demands you fucking made of them. But even after you've made an arrangement with them, gentlemen, um, they will fucking break it. They'll break it. Okay? They do not keep their fucking word. So, um, that will be the only, the only funds ever. That'll be it. Because um, if it's, if you, if it's, I'll find that tomorrow. <laughs> but if it's that, <coughs> but it's, <laughs> if it's what I'm being told by my bank, um, there is no point in me going to work. None. There's none. There's no point in me having a job. Uh, because my whole pay, um, they are wanting to seize. They're wanting the whole thing. As soon as it gets up to this amount, it'll be sent off. Really? Is there anything I can do about that? No. We, don't have, we can't do anything about it. We can only obey the order. We have no choice. Huh. You just shake your head. Like, this can't be real. So... All of it? And, and what's the note? How much is the notes for? Oh, there's notes for 500 and notes for 1,000. So if they get up to that, th those amounts, then it's sent, up, sent straight off. What the fuck? How did you get that? How did you fucking get that? Oh, I must have really hurt the fee fees of the fucking fat slag that fucking called me on Sunday then, mustn't I? Eh? Must have fucking upset that fucking... Must have really upset the apple cart. Fucking hey. How much in total is the, are, are the notes? How much in total have you got? On the account, sir? Oh, there's over five grand here, Mr Barker. Five grand in notes. Really? So, uh, all money that goes to that... It, well, basically, yes, Mr Barker. So I'll, I'll be right down now, sir, and I'll just be taking out the last fucking $180 that's in the account then, okay? I'll just and, and there'll be nothing in the account fucking forever. Okay, you've lost yourself a, 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 an ANZ client. Because I'm not... What the fuck's the point of putting any money in the bank? Fucking hell. What's the point of that? Um, so I'll find it tomorrow. And if that's the facts, then there's no point in having a job. And that will be the end of your fucking little... The end of your little apple cart. The end of your fucking little rainbow. Uh, because it'll be back to Centrelink. Okay? Back to Centrelink, trying out a jobs, looking for jobs everywhere. Very, very fucking busy looking for a job. Oh, fuck it. Very busy there. Fucking sorry about that. Oh, fuck. It's been a busy week. <laughs> but no, there's no point in keeping a job. There's fucking none. There is absolutely none if you've got those notes on my account and I can't get them off. So I'll be talking to the agency tomorrow and asking them what the fuck is going on, what have you done, what have you allowed, and why, what are the reasons. Um, and if that's how it stands, 
then you've completely, well, what's the point in having a job then? I'll be telling the agency that. Well, what's the point in going to work? I mean, you know, you're not even, you're not even allowing me to live. You're not even allowing me to pay my rent. So I'll go and live in my car. I'll go and eat at the fucking snack joint down the road either gives you the, the, the food bank. And um, we'll, just, we'll just do that way. It'll be fucking great. Oh, I'll be fucking great. You'll love it. A little bit of camping out. Oh, fucking, that won't hurt you. You know, just for a few months until you get it all paid. You know, we want to make sure the fucking ex-wife is happy. We want to make sure fucking she's got plenty of wine. Got to have a few wines to have a drink. Loves a fucking drink. Fucking hell. So that'll be the last. All right. Yeah, I'm no fucking vegan, love. Yeah, no vegan here, love. Only eat meat. Fucking meat we eat here. And vegetables. All right. Anyway. Fuck. Thank you for helping me. All right. Thank you for you know helping me get get my mind a bit clearer. Go home now and have a sit down, rest. Um, and find out tomorrow what the fuck these details are and what the hell is going on. What have you allowed to go on without me even knowing about asking me or anything like that? You've just got this on my account, have you? And that's cool, is it? You think it's all right to have that many notes on the knee account and any money going in there, right? You think that's sweet and that I'm going to rock with that. So I'm just going to have my fucking, we'll just go along. <laughs> You're actually expecting me to go, yeah, that's fine. Oh, fuck it, not a problem at all. I'll move out where I am, okay? And I'll go and stay in my fucking Jeep. And, uh, yeah, I'll make sure that's all paid up fucking straight away. Like, fuck. Unbelievable. Ah. <sighs> What to do, what to do, eh? That's all right. We got rent due on the 15th. So, normally you'd have to pay a month. Okay, normally you'd have to pay a month. So this is how you get yourself out of this shit. Okay, they think, they, they think they've fucked you right over, okay? And bitch, you ain't fucked anyone right over. I'm a fucking man, and I ain't no fucking vegan. So when a man fucking does it, he can stand up again and fucking rebuild himself again. Um, and this time, he goes away with a learning lesson, a really important one, and one that he's going to repeat over and over and over to others. So this time around, it'll be a little bit different. So that'll be the last fucking time, Janine, that you'll ever be able to fucking do that in my life. You have completely fucked my life over, overnight, but that's fine. <laughs> Because it's not the end of my life, love. You see, I earn money. I actually earn money. I got a fucking job and I earn money. You, you fat fucking slag, haven't got anything but a bottle of wine. Okay? And that wine I paid for. Okay? So you can pull your trick once, but you'll never get away with it again. And that'll be the last fucking time that you're ever going to fuck my life like you have again. It'll be the last. And I'll make sure... Then I fucking does it happen again. Now, how do you get out of it? How do you give yourself some peace? So, you know, first you've got to cover your fucking rent. So, fuck you. Uh, that ain't, that I'm not getting fucking removed. I won't get, I'll just pay a week's fucking rent. And that's my rent covered through my job. How do I cover on the... I've got another big one on the weekend. Well, that's a different story. I've got to get that one covered. So hopefully I'll have some money left over from me pay to do that. But basically I'll be skint for a fucking for this week. Totally fucking skint. Uh, like fucking skint. But I hold my head up high, boys and girls. Because at least we'll be able to fucking recoup a little bit. But we got a fucked up week coming up. Um They've given a, a, a holiday. I don't know if it's the same in your country, but they've given a holiday now because the fucking queen died. So all these rich cunts want a fucking national holiday. Um, so all the poor cunts like me don't get a fucking earn for the day. But all the rich cunts get to fucking have a day off. Because um, I don't want a fucking day. I don't give a fuck she's dead. I don't fucking care. 
right? I want a fucking day's work. I don't want to go and pay homage to the fucking, you know, what the fuck for? They didn't do shit for me. They never fucking will. They won't do shit for you either. They just want everyone to pay homage to them. King fucking this, that. Kiss my fucking ass. He ain't king of fucking anything. And she ain't queen of fucking nothing. So, no, I don't like any of them. <laughs> I don't like any of them. So, fuck them. Uh, they got, cost me a day's fucking wage. Uh, I think that's Friday. And then next week, what is it? Some AFL fucking holiday or some fucking bullshit here. It's some fucking other holiday. I've got two weeks of four-day week, week, uh, work weeks. I've only got four days instead of five. So I'm not fucking happy about it at all. You can get fucked. I don't give a fuck you're dead. Just fucking throw you in the grave and put some fucking sand on you. <laughs> fucking hell. Why does it have to be televised? Why do I have to fucking sit here listening to all this fucking shit for like ten hours? What the fuck for? Um, fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, damn. That sucks. Um, and then we've got some kind of football holiday next week or some fucking shit. So it's two four-day holidays. Four-day weeks, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so that sucks. Because I'm going to miss two days of work, you know. Damn. Um, I've got to get the masks cracking away again. I haven't done any masks for a while, that's the truth. I've got to get my masks cracking if I can. But that's life. Oh, my God. Ah, I thought I was climbing a little bit. I thought I was just getting up. It's fucking only... All I had was two grand. It's not fucking a lot of money. But you, you took all of it. You know, you're married to a fucking millionaire, apparently. What the fuck? But you've still got to take every dime I've got. Every fucking dime, you fucking cow. Can't believe you'd do that. And you... And I just... Oh, anyway. Of course you would do that. Why wouldn't you do that? You fucking drunk. God damn. Well, that's what you get for fucking get marrying a pisshead. Fuck. Fuck it, Al. Wouldn't you love a bottle of wine? Fuck. Loved a bottle of wine. Fuck. And smash it down like a Coca-Cola. Um, fuck. So it kind of like put me a little bit behind. I was a little bit upset about it. Because I, like I, I've been saving the money for a particular things. Like, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not buying myself a stereo or whatever i've got it I, like i needed it for fucking rent and i needed it for the i got a thing on the weekend that i got to fucking pay for um so i needed that i needed it it was like a, that's what it was that's what that money was for a month's rent you took my fucking rent money okay you took my fucking rent money uh, and you took something that other money that i needed so it wasn't money that I was, you know, spending on my fucking self kind of thing. It was, I suppose I am with the rent and that. But it's to keep a roof over my head. I oh, fucking, you took the fucking rent. You took my rent money. Oh, that's fucking low. Fuck you old bitches are low. Fuck you bitches are really low. Fucking hell. Um, so you put me two weeks behind, basically. You've put me two weeks behind. But you know what's funny? Is that that's not the only two grand that I'll ever get. That's not my last two, like my last. Are you kidding me? I go to work. I've got a fucking job. And that shit's not going to happen again. I mean, seriously, honestly, it'll never happen again, ever. There is no fucking way that I would ever put my fucking money in a bank it, uh, with notes written on it. Like, you're ready to go. Like, fuck, it's ready to go. There's no money in there, but I'm ready to go. I've got the notes ready. Fuck it. So whenever you put it in there, fuck it, mate, I'm ready. Okay? It's fucking, I, I can zoom it straight out. Fucking hell. <laughs> fucking. Like, you actually think I, I could be stupid enough to do that. Um, so, no, that'll be changing tomorrow. That'll change tomorrow. And will never happen again. Ever. The only money you'll get is through your... Um, what do you call it? The agency is when through a job when I'm working and I pay for the job. But you'll you'll never you'll never get a, a dime of my fucking pay again. You cow, you fucking took all my rent money, all the fucking thing. That's, I just shake my head. Okay, let's play. Not a problem. Okay, okay. Not a problem. Then you're a fat fucking slag who doesn't stop fucking drinking and you were the worst fucking person I've ever been, you know, one of the worst people I've ever been around. 
um, and a total fucking drunk. Um, so that's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get. Oh my god. So anyway, I hope you give some to my daughters. I hope you give some money to my fucking daughters, you swag. If like, I instead of keeping it all yourself. But I hope you, pay, I hope you give my daughters some fucking money. Especially little Mia and give Kyra some money. That would be great. I suppose I wouldn't really care as much if I thought that you were giving the kids some money. That would be great. But I know you don't give the kids fucking much at all. So I hope you just give Mia some money, you know, let her get a car or something like that, or let her get something nice for herself. Um, you know, that'd be great. Do you think it's been wasted on fucking your alcohol? <laughs> it's to fucking just shake my head, because it's fucking never going to happen again. It's just fucking... Oh. I got away with it. I really fucking don't. I don't know what story you've told them, what fucking fairy tale you've told them to do that. But the amount of notes that are written on there, and then you've already seized that amount. Like, you fucking want every dime that the person's going to get for fucking, you know, from working for the next... Well, it's that much a week. Four nines, 36. Nine fives are 45. Ten fives are 50. So you're looking at, you know, fucking uh, ten, we ten, 10 weeks worth, worth of uh, work. That's what you're looking at. You're looking at ten, 10 weeks worth of fucking full wages going straight to you. And then you're happy. Like, <laughs> <coughs> over two months. Over two months worth. And you're actually expecting me to go, yep, I'll sign off on that. Not a problem. Look, I'm going to have all everything put into there. I'm, uh, don't worry about me, I'll, I'll be fine. In case you're concerned, I know you're not, but fucking just in case, yeah, don't worry about me, okay? I'll be down the food bank and I'll get a, I'll get a couple of cans of fucking sausages, okay? Um, fuck. Blow me away, you really blow me away, but I, I'm not surprised. But I thought I had it covered, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. So the lesson of today is that whatever you do say to these people, the arrangement you make with them, it doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean anything. They break the arrangement, they lie to you and break the arrangement, and they will not even let you get up $1,000 in your bank account. Um, how dare you even have $1,000 in your bank? How fucking dare you? Um, we're going to take that. Yeah, look, you don't need that, okay? Really, really, you don't, you don't need that, okay? So we're going to we're going to seize that, um, and we're going to seize this one too. We'll put a little note here, okay, for maybe Thursday, Friday when you get paid, so that way when you get paid, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, we've taken the stress away from you. It's all it's all for you. We're doing it for you for your benefit, and um, we're going to make sure that it's just you know, straight away it's taken straight away. You don't you won't even know it's there. It's, you you won't even mind. Okay, you, you won't even notice it. That's, that's their attitude. That is their attitude. And, you, you know, you, you can explain, well, do I pay rent? You know, am I allowed to eat? You know, it doesn't come into the actual factor of anything. It doesn't come into their, into their factors. <coughs> it's, oh, no, you owe this money, and, look, really, we want, it, we want to get it paid off as quickly as we can. That's what I say to you. We want to. <laughs> we want to. I repeated it back to her. We want to? I said, we didn't agree to anything. We want to. I like how you said that, miss. We want to. You know, am I allowed to save money at all? Am I allowed to have a life? Am I allowed to, you know, have goals where I might need to save my money in order to get to that goal? Because if I didn't have that fucking attitude, I wouldn't be in the unit that I'm in. Would I? I wouldn't be where I am. It's because I saved my fucking money, and it's because I was able to do that, I came in and I fucking paid for it. You know, a month's rent and a month's bond. Well, there's half the fucking money gone straight away. So you took all of my fucking savings. So you just hate it when I got up, huh? You just fucking hated it. You thought, how dare he? Oh, no, I can't have that. So I've got to make a little complaint, a little phone call, a little third party, have a little cry. And I'll have that seized off him. Like, you can't let the man get up at all. You can't let him build himself up at all. You have got to see him down. And you're not going to get me down. It, you're not going to do that. You're not, I won't give you that power. You won't have that power in my life. So, okay, you've upset me. But um, tomorrow morning's another day. 
and um, I wake up and I think about everything and it'll never happen again. I will make sure that it never happens again. There will never be a fucking penny in that account, ever. Never. Ever. Okay? So, as long as I've declared myself, and that's basically what you do, boys. You just fucking cover your ass. If that's how they want to play, they want to seize your fucking account, well, then there's no point using that fucking account, then is there? No point fucking even going anywhere near it. So, if that's how it's going to play, then what's the point in having a fucking job? What's the point in building yourself up? Because you can't build yourself up. You, you're not allowed to. You're not, you're not able to. Because the minute you even get over $1,000, they're going to seize anything you got. I mean, that's pretty full on. Um, you know, like you can't, you, you, you can't build yourself up at all. Um, uh, no, I'll, I'll work it out. Ah, uh, yeah, correct, yeah, Janine, yeah. I'll, I'll work it out. Um, and have a fucking, and work it out. <laughs> but fuck it, mate. You just shake your head. Because I can swear on a Bible. I call them. I made arrangements. I sat on the phone for ages talking to them. Uh, everyone was happy. It's coming straight out of here to there. You've done the right thing. You're taking care of your children, their words. You don't have to worry about anything now. We're not going to be chasing you or anything like So it's okay for me to work extra hours. It's okay for me to save my money in my bank. You're not going to come along and just seize my account like you did last time. Oh, no, no, no. You're obeying all the rules. Those were their words. You're obeying all the rules. You've done everything right. So there's no reason for us to come after you. There's no reason for us to do that. You know, because I said, oh, well, I want to work extra hours. I want to save my money. I've got, I want to get out of where I, because I didn't have the unit at the time. And I said, I want to get out of where I am and change my life a bit, upgrade my life. I work really hard. So I'm paying you, is this, can I save the rest? Okay, you're taking this. Am I able to save the rest and you won't seize it? No, no, you've, you've done the right thing, Mr. Barker. You've, you know, you've made the arrangement where you, everything's fine. You know, like, yeah, of course you can, you know. No. You can't. Okay? You can't. Okay? Do not believe anything they tell you. Don't believe anything they say. Um, if they make an arrangement with you, that's great through you doing it through your job and stuff like that. But yeah, but don't save any money. Don't don't have it in a bank or stuff like that. Um, yeah, because the old third party phone calls come out. And, of course, you're not allowed to have that. How dare you? Um, and they will take it from you. They seize it from you. And you'll wake up in the morning like me, and all you've got is the money in your wallet. And now, which is the most money I've ever had, really. <laughs> if you think about it, I'd be pretty broke, right? I mean, fucking you guys were feeding me for there for a while. Fucking <laughs> hell. So I've been pretty broke, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm, to my mind, oh, fuck, I've got a lot of money. I've got 180 bucks in my pocket. I get paid on fucking Friday. Oh, it's fucking brilliant, right? <laughs> I, I don't think about... That, that's how I look at it. I look, well, fuck, mate, I've still got a little bit of money to, like, to get paid. So I'll try and work out how to fucking get me pay without it being seized. Like, it's a fucking joke. How dare you try and seize my entire fucking paychecks? How dare you? Like, fucking hell. I got 5% power, so it's going to run out of power any time. So I'll say goodbye now, so in case it just fucking goes flat on you. So um, that's my life today. <laughs> and fucking, and what an adventure. And here I am having a little walk, having a little bit of a think to myself in the middle of the fucking night. It's really nice. I can smell the ocean and fuck, it's nice. But, um, yeah, I'm not relaxing or anything. Because I just shake my head. I cannot believe they would do that to me. Like, I can't believe that the agency would do that to me. Like, that's that's what I'm mainly upset about. Like, what's the point in calling you and making an arrangement and going through all that, everything that I did with you and going through all of that? There's no point to that. What's, what's the point of that when you can just come along a month later and you seize the account? Like, what's in here? What, what can we get? What, what, what's left in the account? Let, let, let's see what we can nab today from the A and Z. <laughs> and they come in and they just take everything you've got. Everything in the account. They empty it. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Like, I can't even buy a cucking can of Coke at fucking work, you bitch. You fucking, you took every fucking dime I had. Fucking hell, you're a smart cunt, aren't you? Fucking hell. Um, so I, I didn't know, you know. But that's, yeah, that's fine. That's how, that's, that's, just, that's just how chicks roll. That is how they fucking roll. They don't like seeing you get up. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you fucking getting up and doing well. They, they just don't. They don't like it. So, um... I mean, I cannot believe that you actually will think that that will happen again. That you think I'm fucking stupid enough not to not to know what's going on. Um, wow. Okay. That's going to change in the morning, and it's never going to happen again. That's going to be the last fucking paycheck that you seize. My entire paycheck from me. You took my entire paycheck. My entire paycheck. <laughs> you fucking, I can't believe you, you would do that. But anyway, I'm not surprised. Um, Oh, I just thought I'd let's have a look at your comments here before I get off. I don't give a fuck what you want to discuss, you fucking fat cunt. Who gives a fuck what you want? Um, uh, yes, next John. It's fucking very nice, mate. Uh, yeah, Damon, yeah, the agency. They, um, you know, they just, yeah, fucking seized, it, you know. She's had a little cry on the phone and they've fucking seized everything that's in the account, everything in my bank account. They've left me absolutely skint. Like I can't, like everything out of my account. Like forget about anything. You, you can't have any savings at all, at all. Like they take every dime. Oh, you managed to save two thousand dollars. Oh, you managed to save a thousand dollars. Oh, look, we can't have you saving money. How, how, how did you do that? Oh, fucking, how dare you? Oh no, look, we're going to take that straight away, and then we'll put a little note on your account. And if there's any money coming into the account up to this amount over five hundred dollars, then it gets sent here. Oh, really? And you—that's th good. That's proper. Like my entire wages, you think is going? That, that, that'd be great. <laughs> that's, and I'm going to stand for that. That's just no problem at all. You know, we're going to do that until the debt is paid off. We'll just do that until the debt is paid off. Don't worry about paying rent. Don't worry about your fuel or eating food. We don't worry, don't worry about those minor things. Oh, fuck, this is much more important. Making sure she's got her bottle of wine. Oh, fuck, she's got to have a bottle of wine. She's a little bit low. Fucking hell. We need to send her some more money. Um, so that'll be the last time that happens. The last fucking seizure that you're ever going to fucking get out of me. And I cannot believe the agency let, it, let let you get away with it. Like, I'm on no power, guys. Two percent power. So it's going to run out any 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 second now. So I'll say good night. God bless you. Thanks for listening to my fucking bullshit. But I hope you learned something um, because I had to pass the lesson on a little bit <laughs> in case you fucking in the same kind of spot at all. But don't believe any the support agency tells you. It's fucking lies. Um, if they tell you that you're sweet and you, you come up with the arrangement, you've done all the right thing, you're looking after your kids, all those words, don't believe anything they say. Because a month later, they will come along and just seize everything in your account and then put notes on your account so that any pay that goes in there goes straight to them. So you won't even have a life. You won't be able to pay for anything. And when you go to use your card even to buy a Coke for $2 in the machine, it won't work. It won't work because all of your money has already been, you know, siphoned off to them. Until this debt is paid off, Mr. Barker, we have to make sure this debt is paid off as quickly as we can. And that's how they talk to you. Like, we have to do this. We have to do that. It has to be done, Mr. Barker. Like, we have to get this done straight away. You know, it's, but you took my entire pay, miss. Oh, well, it has to get paid, Mr. Barker. We, you know, you, you've got a debt to pay. So am I allowed to live at all or are I allowed to pay? Well, we have to get that debt paid off. They just keep reflecting back to it. They don't answer the question. They just reflect back to it because they actually don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't care. They just want you to put the pay in next week and then the pay can be sent. And they don't care about you. Okay? And, and it, like you'll, you'll just be flabbergasted. You'll be flabbergasted. And even you'll say to them, but what's the point in having a bank account then? What's the point in having a job if, if I go to work every day 
and you're just going to like take the whole thing <laughs> and I don't even get to fucking pay rent. Um, what is the point in having any of this? Like, like seriously, I might as well go back on the doll. I'll go back on Centrelink then. Like seriously, I'll just go back on Centrelink. Like honestly, what? There's there's no point in fucking 